Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, and uh, I'm here to make a quick little update video today. Um, on this account, well, I haven't been playing too much the past couple days because I've been a bit busy with moving. I helped my parents move uh, last week, and now this week I have been moving myself. So there has been a lot of moving involved lately. Um, also, my internet at the moment is pretty shoddy. I have been disconnecting constantly, but uh, I have had a little bit of time to play today, and I've done a couple quests. Uh, I'm working towards the temple at Sentisten. That is the goal quest to uh, unlock curses. And if we just uh, go down here to, I believe it's a master quest, um, I still need the Curse of Arav, um, and there's a few uh, prerequisites for the Curse of Arav that I still need to complete. Uh, I have a notepad document, um, and these are the quests that I have left. I have to do uh, Defender of Varrock, Missing My Mommy, and What Lies Below before I can do the Curse of Arav. Um, when I started questing, this notepad document was like completely full, and there was a scroll bar with all the quests that I needed to do, and so I have completed quite a few already. Um, I got des Desert Treasure done yesterday, so that was a pretty good achievement. Um, and today I'm just working towards that Curse of Arav. Um But at the moment I'm working on what but lies below uh, that quest. And I remember this being a pretty short and easy quest. Obviously I have done every quest on my main account. Um, so I've done all these before at one point. It's just uh, most of the quests that I have done, I actually did a couple years ago when I was really into questing. Um, so unfortunately I don't really recall too many of the quests. So I'm having to use guides and stuff. But uh, anyways, the quests for the most part haven't been too bad. Um, right before this one, I actually did Garden of Tranquility, and I remember that quest as being one of the worst I'd ever done because um, you had to wait for the garden to grow. Uh, but while waiting for the garden to grow in Garden of Tranquility, what I did is I actually did uh, Edgar's Ruse quest. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, and that quest is really useful because it unlocks the Trollheim teleport. Um, so I never ever have to run through that mountainous region to get to Trollheim or the Troll Stronghold again, which is just super useful. Um, and as I can remember here, I have to go to the uh, the library and talk to someone in there. Um, again, it has been quite a while since I've done What Lies Below, and I don't have the guide uh, right up accessible to me at the moment. Um, but this quest uh, is, I believe, the last quest I have to do for Defender of Varrock. Um, and I remember. Be Defender of Varrock being a pretty fun quest. Um, it used to be really useful because a lot of people used to train at armored zombies. Uh, that used to be a few years ago. Uh, one of the best, um, I believe, one of the best training methods in the game. So, uh, Defender of Varrock was a quest that a lot of people tried to work towards. Um, but I have to do it for the Curse of Arav, honestly. And I'm pretty excited for curses. I got uh, 71 prayer recently, which means I can use the deflect. Uh, melee curse, so that might be a little bit useful. Um, I'm going to be working towards turmoil. That's going to be the first viable skill on this account, so uh, it's going to take a little while to train up to 95 prayer, uh, but that's the current major goal. Um, so that's what I am working towards at the moment, and uh, nearly done with the questing. And I'm just going to look at a guide really fast so I can figure out what I need to do next. So I will re be releasing another episode of the Road to Maxscape on this account pretty soon, um, as soon as I gather together enough clips. Uh, I haven't been getting a whole lot of level up clips lately just because I have mainly been questing, uh, and the vast majority of quests give pretty terrible XP rewards, so I haven't gotten a lot of levels. Um, I have been doing a lot of farming recently. I spent a lot of money on like papayas and stuff. If you didn't see my first episode of the Road to Max Cape uh, Season 2 on this account, then you wouldn't know that, but uh, I spent a lot of money on farming. I spent about 10 mil on farming, which was all the cash that I was able to earn for farming. Um, I earned that cash through a little bit of flipping, uh, mostly. Um, and anyway, I spent that on farming, so I should be able to get 74 farming by tomorrow. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I ha I need to work on the 70 plus milestone cape. That's um, something that I would like to achieve because I have uh, most of the skills at either 70 or close to 70 at the moment. Uh, anyway, that should be pretty cool. I'm going to wait till I'm done questing before I really do any skilling first. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get too many levels from the quest that I have left. As I can recall, the Temple at Sentisten doesn't give much XP, if any. Uh, and I don't believe that um, any of the other quests, like the Cursor Rav, I don't think they give much XP either. Uh, so anyway, I have to make my way to the Chaos Altar right now, kind of just working off of memory at the moment. I know you have to come back to this place later to for a Varrock task. Um, but after this, I will unlock the ability to kill Bork, um, and I'm not sure if you can go, uh, if you have, like, full access to the Chaos Tunnels. I believe there are areas of the Chaos Tunnels that you cannot access before doing um, this quest and the mini quest that comes after it, uh, but I may be wrong with that. 
Anyway, um, let's get to the Chaos Altar. I have no idea where to go. It's looks like it's downstairs, so we're gonna have to find a stairway down. Um, anyway, I haven't really recorded me doing quests in the past very often, so I thought that might be a little bit of an interesting thing for me to do. I know that no one ever would uh, actually craft chaos runes because I think this is one of those altars that's just a huge pain to get to unless you go through the abyss. Uh, and it looks like all these stairways are going up, so I'm not really really sure what that's about, especially when the altar is below me. Um, but we have to infuse this wand on the chaos altar, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, uh, and that's going to help me progress through the quest. All right, well that wasn't so bad. Let's just uh, use this wand on the chaos altar. I do believe probably the first time someone has been here in a very long time, unless uh, other people have been doing this quest recently. I'm not really sure how this wizard got here or what they're even here for. Um, I don't believe people actually craft runes anymore. I'm pretty sure everyone just um, does the rune span way now. But uh, anyway, let's. I think this quest is almost done. Never mind, it's a long run back to this uh, Rat Burgess guy. Luckily, there's lodestones in the game. Lodestones make everything a million times easier. Probably one of my favorite updates of all time, to be honest. Um, I think lodestones are a great thing. Every game should have a fast travel system. That is uh, one thing. I was playing this one game recently. Um, I, I probably shouldn't talk about other games because that's kind of frowned upon in the RuneScape community. Uh, I was just playing this one RPG recently, and it was a really good game and all, but it did not have a fast travel system, and that just completely ruins the game for me. So because of that, uh, I'm really glad that Jagus decided to implement this, um, and we'll just make sure. Sometimes if you don't go through all the chat options on people, it doesn't uh, count as the quest continuing, um, so that's really annoying, and I don't... Uh, I don't actually read any of the dialogue really, I just tend to skip through it and follow the quest guide because I cheat like that. Okay, it's time to e arrest this guy apparently. Um, I just wanted to apologize lately for the lack of videos, especially this one, uh, more of a vlog type video, uh, and I know those aren't I mean, some people like vlog tape videos, but some people don't, and they obviously don't take as much effort. But, uh, again, I have just been really busy lately, as well as dealing with bad internet, so sometimes that just doesn't work out too well. But, uh, anyways, looks like I'm about to kill this king here, uh, King Roald, who I actually just, uh, saved from his wife in one of the last quests. Summon on the beacon ring? Uh, I think I pretty much just one-hit him there. Um, and I need to get 70 defense really fast, because I think this rune armor looks absolutely terrible not a big fan of the rune armor uh, and also unfortunately I remember I spent a long time actually trying to get a dragon defender uh, back when I first started this account last summer uh, early last spring or early last fall something like that but I spent a long time trying to get the dragon defender and now it's pretty much useless uh, I might as well just get an offhand dragon longsword because I haven't done monkey madness yet um, and I haven't got the enhanced Excalibur yet but the dragon defender is just so bad uh, which really sucks, but anyway, uh, I'm about to turn in this quest. I just have to go back to the uh, the Rat Burgess guy one more time. Okay, so for this quest, you pretty much just get the Beacon Ring, which isn't that useful because uh, it only gives 1.5% crit, and a Sears Ring isn't that expensive, and it gives a lot more. But uh, anyway, that's it for this quest, and uh, I'm down to... Time to check this quest off the list, and I'm down to my last four quests until curses, so pretty excited about that. Anyway, guys, uh, stay tuned for updates, and uh, more will be coming soon from this account. Farewell.